<clears throat> it's time to fix the rear part of the catheter. It definitely is. And uh, how are we going to do that? Yeah, so the plan is, or the original plan, was to mount a tail light on the frame hoop here, turn signals on the side, some brackets, have a larger offset bracket here with the license plate and license plate lights on it. I can't find any license plate uh, lights. Yeah, um, I can't really find the license plate lights, so I guess the only way to find them is to buy new ones. Okay, uh, that didn't make much sense, but uh, okay, how yeah. are you going to do it? Well, the, I couldn't really figure out how to make this bracket uh, and uh, I was never satisfied with any design. I didn't want to weld anything directly on the frame hoop. It's nice and rounded here, so uh, yeah, can't you get the new part I just yep. ordered? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. And let me show you here the problem. So I have made this dummy license plate. It needs to be something like this. We have some regulations. I can't just have it facing upwards. It needs to be tilted like this. So it needs to have quite a lot of distance here. I will replace this shock so I can raise the back a bit, but 45 degrees angle or something and behind here, so I need quite a distance. This is a like not a dirt bike, but a bread style, knobbly tires. Should be able to drive it in uh, bad weather and uh, different conditions on gravel and grass. And to avoid dirt coming up, I also would need some kind of fenderish style of the bracket. So why don't just go for a fender? a rear fender. Uh, the original one of this bike was uh, like uh, part of the seat uh, rear part of the bike, like integrated uh, with the big plastic mold. So I bought a universal one. And here it is. Aha, I guess it is this one. Fresh from China, universal fender. And yeah, it seems to fit the wheel arc and we have a problem here. The seat tray is flat under here. So this, this doesn't fit really, does it? We need to modify it, don't we? Yeah, we have a challenge and we have some work to do. So why don't we stop? Okay.
Hey, 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 hold on there for a sec. Uh, are you welding the fender directly to the frame? Uh, no, no. I um, did a mistake here. I cut the fender smaller and smaller and smaller, and eventually too small it became a gap between the fender and the, the frame hoop, so I needed to weld on a um, spacer to fill in, so some extra work. I needed anyway to put on some brackets to mount it, so it wasn't too much of extra work. But uh, let me show you uh, what I ended up with. Very well done, lads. Okay, let me bring the camera a bit closer here. First of all, I'm pretty happy with the, the end result. So I managed to, since I took the whole uh, fender apart, I managed to get this uh, widened out so it uh, fills out the gap. That was uh, pretty nice. Is perhaps a bit wide, but uh, at least it will protect against the uh, dirt. I'm not so happy about the length. I would like it to be a bit longer, because uh, when my license plate is going back here, I it would be a bit close, I think. I need to offset it a bit, so I need to create a bracket anyway here, a short one, to hold the license plate, but uh, I think that will be fine. Not too hard to make a small bracket here. The tail light will be here somewhere and the uh, turn signals somewhere around here pointing out. So let me show you the design of it, how I made it. I made a hole in the frame right here and uh, threaded it so you will only see my hand now but it's easy to take out this uh, six, six millimeter bolt and another one on the other side and then you just slip it out and uh, this is how it ended up as you can see i had to weld on extra spacer here I cut it too low here, so uh, that was stupid of me, so I had to raise it a bit. And then I also uh, added this lip to get it a bit more sturdy and also drilled a hole to mount it. And as you can see, uh, I cut off the rear part and uh, because of that I was able to bend it out to make it uh, flush against the side of the frame. And also this uh, top part is cut off, so actually just uh, one third of the fender is uh, left, uh, I guess, at least more than half of it is cut away. So, well, I need, uh, of course, to put on some uh, body filler here and uh, sand it down, make it flush. It, uh, I need to grind everything down with sandpaper. Uh, I want to uh, paint this black, probably use some uh, epoxy or self-etching primer, I'm not sure. I think uh, epoxy is best to paint on top of uh, chrome. And finally, the rear fender is here and it's time to go over to the next task. Well, I am the one doing all the work here, so let me tell you. The next task will be to finish up the rear part with taillight, uh, turn signals, a license plate holder, and then we probably start with... Hi guys, really sorry to interrupt you, or not really. You've been working on this bike now for one year, and from what I can see, there's still quite a lot left to do on it. When do you plan to finish up the project? In 10 years? 20 years? Well, okay. From this point off, I'm going to do the rest of this uh, bike build and uh, I promise you it will go much fa faster now. Uh, 
the goal is to have this uh, ready to the spring. So uh, hopefully two or three months, this should be done. Well, I believe it when I see it.